So Natalie, where you calling me from? I am calling you from Houston, Texas, but I'm from Chicago. Okay, where do you live? I live in Houston, Texas. Okay, live in Houston, Texas. How old are you, baby? I am oh, 40. Happened? I will be 41 in, on October 4th. Okay, you have any children? I have two beautiful kids. My daughter is She'll be 17 in a couple of months. My son will be 12 in um, a couple of months. Have you ever been married? Yes. I was previously married for eight years, and I got divorced in 2021. Divorced in 2021. Okay. Um, why'd you get divorced? We nosy. Um, <laughs> our values just didn't align. What? Um, that, was, that was pretty much it. You know, we got married, you know, because I loved him. We had a a children a kid together so um our values just didn't align he okay. he's the father of my son not the biological father of my daughter but my daughter has a great relationship with him still and he's never you know left her side so it's just you know just our values just didn't align okay, okay but he he's the father to both of your children no he's the biological father to my son but um, my daughter has a different father from a previous relationship, but he, you know, my daughter still has a great relationship with him. He's, he's raised her since she was four with me. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So with that, that, I think that's major that he took in your, his child, your child that wasn't his. So how different were your values? Kendra, <laughs> you know, oh my God. Um, so, okay, I'll just say this. There was just, there was some infidelity. There we go. I was just waiting on it. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! <laughs> infidelity. You know what it is. Whole stepfather. Sounds like an awesome man, Mr. Walker, from all accounts. Yeah. The more she was talking, the more grim this became. My first thoughts... Been married for eight years, and now we're going to keep saying it until y'all choke on it. Now, I've been married for eight years, and now you're back here on the open sexual marketplace. Uh, we see the bra back from the front. We can see the back from the front, saying we know what's going on. You you ain't presenting the market with your best self. You had a You somehow defied the odds, landed a whole stepdaddy husband of a man. And then y'all grow the part. It should be impossible for y'all to grow the part. <laughs> All right. Under such such circumstances, even Kendra was trying to piece this together. She said, wait a minute. So he ain't the father of both your kids and you still left him? He took on the other kid? Since she's talking about since since the daughter was four. Like Gavin said, it sounds like an awesome, wholesome guy. And, but this is why we tell guys don't step into this. Talking about, talking about infidelity. Oh, he was cheating on me. Uh, Here we go. Mama. Shout out to Tyranny in the chat. Let's reverse the roles. I remember yesterday she was saying something about, you know, about uh, Remy Ma cheating. And the only way you could cheat is if, a, you know, your, the man paused it, let's just say. Well, in this case, where is her there accountability? Did the man, you know what I mean? Like you, you said, you go. shoulders looking broad. Was you not? Did you get blowed out huh. on him? There we go. There you go, tyranny. Perfect. Yeah. What? What was? What was the reason that this brother gave her to go out and and I ain't gonna say cheat, but to leave to file for divorce? What's worse? What did he do? She said they grew to part. They didn't have the same values. So yeah, what values do you have? You fumbled that. You seriously. When we start talking about values and virtue signaling, just as a single mom, just leave that ish in your back pocket because it ain't going to work the way you want it to. So I virtue signal like that. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I just, okay. Yeah, I just don't want to, you know, talk bad about him. Or fair enough. Like fair enough. Because... Okay. Well, okay. I, I don't want you to share anything you don't want to share because this is an internationally known show. So we'll girl, leave it at that. You we'll got reach. Going. Your show got reach, girl. I know. It does. It does. So we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. So Natalie, Houston, Texas, 40, a Libra. Um, she is two children, 12 and 17. 
Um, what do you do for a living? So I am a real estate agent and I am also, I work in higher education for a university. I'm a student success coach. It's pretty much a retention manager. Okay. There it is. Um, real estate agent. And let's do it. Natalie Houston, Texas, 40 Libra, two children, was once married, real estate agent. And what else the other job? Um, uh, I work for a higher educational university. I'm a student success coach. I work for, um, my students are MBA and MHA students. So master's degree students. Master's degree students. All right. Yeah. Let's do it, Natalie. Let's do it, Natalie. What kind of man are you looking for? Ooh. Um, I'm just pretty much looking for my equal, somebody that's genuine, somebody that um, loves God, a man that will love God more than he loves me, because I know if he loves God, then he will, you know, treat me well and take care of me how he's supposed to. And um, just somebody with integrity, somebody that's honest. Um, somebody that's happy. I want a man that comes happy because I'm happy. And so I don't want anybody to take away from my happiness. I don't depend on anybody to bring me happiness, but I don't want anybody that's going to take away from my happiness. Ooh. What? Y'all got to decode that. What makes her happy? Let me guess. Little Debbie's. Uh, some uh, basketball. Crab boils. Yeah, yeah, crab boils. All that. What she mean? Don't come in here telling me I need to go to the gym and making me uncomfortable, i.e. unhappy. Yeah, come in happy. Don't come in here unhappy and and disagreeable by nature like a man. Don't do that. Don't come here trying to fix problems and and, and establish structure and discipline and get on, a, on the same accord and, and achieve a common goal. Don't come here trying to do these things. No, come happy. And 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 faithfully fluffy. <laughs> uh, That's what they want. They want you to come in happy, cheerful, plump, and pleasant, and just come in and be comfortable and just float through life. I get it. I get it. Where we at? You uh how many you got two kids? You two for two? She this is two for two shoddy. What's her age? Let's get to the nitty-gritty. You two for two shoddy. You your back's blowed out. What's her age? She, if she she 38, she look at she giving 38 ish. Yeah, but she up there. And and we didn't even hit on this, like Brittany Campbell said. They always want to God. I don't even this has got to be the ultimate between asking for a man making six figures and this whole God thing lately. Granted, you know, but man, y'all coming off like y'all nuns or something. It's it's the sick intentions behind it. Yeah, I Every man should fear something greater than himself. That's my thought. Yes, but it's the sick hoodoo behind what they're saying. When they when when Bon Quee should say this, and the gynocracy fearing God means falling in line to the gynocracy, falling in line to order 66. That's what it means. Fear God, fear the gynocracy. You can watch these panels. Mostly every pander, these pandering dudes, they love the King James pamphlet. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so here we go make sure y'all hitting the like button i want to see the kendra cam now a lot of times the head and the shoulders can throw you off because the i don't know a lot of y'all weight go to y'all head arms and shoulders sometimes so let's see arms shoulders heads and toes <laughs> <laughs> so i want somebody that's happy with himself um a man that is a leader um a man, I like alpha males. I like cocky men, not arrogant, but cocky men, like that confident men. Confident um, men. Yes. And I just like, you know, good hearted men, men that, you know, are, you know, generous, like to um, uplift their community. Because one of the reasons why I became a real estate agent is because I wanted to educate my community on, you know, owning property, owning land, and, you know, just, getting rid of the whole, you know, renting. There's so many people that I've met that never even thought about owning. And so, you know, I just want somebody that's going to uplift their community with me and um, somebody that's caring, preferably somebody that already has kids because I don't want to have kids, any more kids. 
Um, but just a good hearted individual. <laughs> okay. What are your deal breakers? Ooh, um, so my deal breakers are um atheists. You gotta love God. You gotta and I prefer a Christian man. Um, you got, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, so you gotta be, you know, love God. Um smokers. I can't do smokers. Um, you know, men that are mean. I can't do men that are mean. Um, men that are disrespectful and don't respect women's opinion. Men that hate women. It's a lot of men I feel like that hate women these days, and they just need to just switch to the other side, child, and just because they seem like they hate women a lot. At least podcast men. Um, what? <laughs> You said men that um, also, okay, let's talk about that because men been coming on saying black women have attitudes and you yeah. feel as a black woman, a lot of men hate women? I think, so I've been running into men that I feel like are scorned because they've been hurt so many times. Like women, we aren't the only ones that can be scorned. Men have been scorned too. And I can tell because they're just, like oh i'm not doing this and this ever again for a woman because the last woman is like i'm not the last woman boo i didn't do it to you the uh, stop the cow here we go no men have seen the damn light it's unfortunate for you men say i ain't about to come in here after you didn't let two men shoot up the club oh why y'all acting like that no bone quisha them days is done yeah boom shakalaka that's all the chickens have come home to roost. It, the, the jig is up, Bonquisha. Man, here we go. So ultimately, why did she leave her husband? Why did she leave her godsend of a husband? You know, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this crap. How in the world you up here talking about God fearing? You love you love Jesus so 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 very much, and you so God fearing, and you so Christian, and you up here two for two. But y'all that ain't ever you know put your nose into the King James pamphlet. This type of behavior is forbidden. My goodness, uh -huh. two for two show the ain't in ain't in the New nor Old Testament. I'm sick of it. Listen, life happens, mistakes happen. But if you if you a single mom, leave that all that virtue signaling Christian stuff in your back pocket because it don't go over the way you think. Seriously. So shout out to my guy, Ben. He come through. He say she blowed out. She a three out of ten at best. Two for two. <laughs> you hear me? You need to humble your goddamn self. Oh, oh, oh. Man. man, that's it. And, and she done leveled up. Humble. That's why she left because she leveled up. She said she real estate and uh, she left her husband because she leveled up. My goodness. And here we go. My guy, gun metal guy, USA says, where was God when Victoria's Secrets was hitting the floor? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's starting to become like, sure. I get it. It's almost like, you know, some people can go to prison, you know, and, and become, you know, overly religious to atone maybe. And you get Bonquisha once they get three, four kids and you know, roll hard, put away wet. Then they want to start talking this God talk. But where was that? Where was all this God when them Victoria's Secrets was hitting the floor? One, one, no, one, no God talk. One, none of that. Just <laughs> what, what they say in Monsters Ball, Halle Berry, Billy Bob Thornton, make me feel good. Nug, nug. That's all <laughs> that <was> being said. <laughs> Oh, here we go, man. Scamming and scheming, scheming and scamming. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Stop <laughs> picking the wrong women. You pick the wrong women, and then, you know, you expect you expect a certain type of woman to be te uh, have a teacher mindset, and you get upset when you go to the strip club to pick a woman, and then she don't got a teacher mindset. It don't work like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said it don't work like that. Okay, okay then. Um, <laughs> no disrespect and no shade to the strippers because, hey, I'm a hustler, so get your money however you feel. No judgment. But, you know, some men just, you know, just feel like, you know, they go for a certain type and then get upset when they get played or get upset when all they want them for is their money. And, 
You're just picking the wrong ones. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Um, so why are you so was, was all excuse me, were those all your deal breakers? Um, okay, what did I say? Mean men, disrespectful, you know, um, smokers. I just if you smoke cigars every now and then, like on occasion, I could deal with that, but I can't deal with cigarettes at all, period. Not at all. I can't, I don't want to deal with weed. You know, for one, you know, I got kids and I just want, I want a man that um, I can look up to for one and that my children could look up to as well. Somebody that's a good role model. Um, you know, so of course, the main stuff, like not abusive or anything like that, but um, somebody that does, if you want kids, then he's not for me because I would prefer a man to come with his own kids because I love his kids like they're mine if he comes with his own kids. <laughs> Do you want a man to come with his own kids? I just don't kids. want any more kids. So that's a deal breaker if he wants kids. Yes. Okay. Your, your, your camera yes, keeps preferably. freezing. Let me keep going. So, Natalie, does he have to look a certain way? Uh-oh. Um, no, I don't think I really have a type. Just I'm 5'2", so just taller than me with heels. So, um, I don't know, like 5'9", <laughs> 5'7". Five, five, okay. Um, and let me just say this too, <clears throat> this the sagging pants off the butt, I can't deal. I can't. That's that's an appearance deal breaker for me. If you're walking around with your pants hanging off your ass, I just can't. She can't do it. She can't do it. Okay. What about okay. money? Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No. No, you don't care about that. Okay. So this is Natalie. Um, no, not really. I mean, as long as he can per. Can you hear me? Yes. Am I breaking up? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. So as long as he can provide, as long as he can provide for himself, as long as he, you know, is takes care of himself. If he has children, definitely should be taking care of his children. And as long as he can afford to date, you know, that's that's just my requirements. And if he has goals and ambition. That's what I care about because we can, you know, we can build, you know, I'm, I got divorced. And so I'm, I kind of started over and I'm, you know, leveling up more and more. And just as long as he's somebody that, um, his goal is to be better than he was the day before. All right. A lot of one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> oh, I'm over this sister. I, uh, 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 she ready. She said she done left her man. She leveling up. She's she uh she a hood real estate mogul. <laughs> Let's see. Stand up. Let's see your hoodoo. <laughs> okay. And do you want to get married again? I Natalie. do. I do. I, I know I'm a wife. I know I was meant to be a wife. What? Okay, let's do it. Stop the let's cap. Let's can. Okay. Um Put my phone down. Can y'all see me? I always see that. Oh, huh. there we go. Where you at, Chubby? She got a little fupa in the front, and she got something in the back. All right. Y'all see? Listen here. Yeah, no. Okay, maybe she ain't in the projects. I don't know what that is. She in a very industrial setting. But I'm hoping that's from the echo. I'm hoping that ain't a, a, a personal dwelling. <laughs> I'm hoping that's some type of industrial building or something. But nevertheless, this Kendra Cam, this presentation, pass or fail, fail. You fail. You, you, you left your husband, woman. You left you two for two and you left your husband. That's like strike one through eight. Like what we do, what we doing? All, only thing we trying to see is, do she sit in the front of the sub or the back of the sub? Look at that booty, them hips, girl. Stop. <laughs> Got them hips, girl. I'm working is, on I'm on the weight loss. Say again? I said, I'm working on it. I'm on a weight loss journey. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so Natalie, was your last relationship your marriage? Yes. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do you think you're single, Natalie? I think I'm single because, well, for one, you know, it took me some time to heal. I didn't want to jump into another relationship when I was still healing. Um, I went through therapy and stuff. And um, so I think I'm still single because I know what I want. And I don't want to settle for somebody that doesn't take me seriously. I'm not trying. I had my hot girl summer after I divorced. And I got it out what? of my system. So I'm over it now. And I just, you know... I'm I'm single because it's no man that has um what are we talking came about? around that I feel that I have that connection with. You don't have connections. Girl, I'm talking body to body. G -G. Oh what are we what are we doing? Seriously. She up here talking about I listen, I done had my hot girl summer after I divorced a man that dared to be stepdaddy to my one bastard child and still decided to marry me. And I upgraded on him and I had hot girl summer at what at 48. Huh. I guess rip her out the plastic. She acting brand new at 48. And whoa, wow. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> oh, oh. Yo, hear it. Not, not a humble bone in her body. Who, what guys, God fearing. There we go. Her God fearing ass was out here hot. She was out here on that carousel, on that weenie carousel singing Kurt Franklin. <laughs> there we go. This is all bad. Uh, Shout out to my God project, Leroy. Yeah, she wanna, yeah, it's all bad. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? The boy! It's, oh. it's the hypocrisy for me, man. And that's why I show forever, knowing what I know now as a man, I shall ever taunt the King James pamphlet. Just just that alone, it's a little King James. Oh, this God is bad. This is so nasty, man. She keeps saying two for two. You had a hot girl summer after you divorced your husband. Where is the God? Where is the fear of God? Where is the the Jesus in that? I'm lost. Here we go. Let's let her land this plane because we got a lot more show tonight. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Ooh, child, I can give you more than three. <laughs> So, um, one of them is I'm a procrastinator. Um, another one is, um, I think I expect people to kind of think like me because I've been told I could be brutally honest. So people that lie are a trigger for me and I just, <clears throat> I expect people to think like me. So, um, that, that's a flaw because, um, people are not mind readers. So I think that's a flaw. I think another flaw of mine is um, I could be in, I could be impatient. So if I like I don't really ask people for anything. I expect people to know what's needed by analyzing and then taking action. And I've been told that you know that's a flaw. Like you can't expect people to just know what you want. So I got to work on that. And um, I could be impatient, too. She could be impatient, too. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you? A guy would be lucky to be with me because I am, I'm just, with me, what you see is what you get. I'm a genuine person. I'm honest. I'm loyal. Like, I'm loyal. I do not steer away, like, if I feel like I don't like you anymore, or if I feel like, you know, it just ain't what's happening, then I, I will leave before I cheat. I have never cheated on anybody in my life. Um, and I'm, I, I don't like, you know, for lack of better words, I'm not a bum. 
and I'm not just going to be another bill for a man. I'm, I'm a hustler and I like to, you know, get money and grow together. So I'm just looking for a partner that I can do a whole bunch of stuff with, have fun, hang out. I'm looking for my best friend that can also be my, you know, my forever and my lover. And there you have it. Let's do it. Yeah. Godspeed. You that's just like the Kendra uh wish list, like the Christmas list. Granted. <laughs> Grant, just like growing up, just like growing up poor in the projects, and your mom tell you to write a Christmas list. I don't know why. It, write uh -huh. everything you want, and you write that. Oh, I want this. I want that. Just for Christmas hey. to come, you don't get none of that. A a squeegee kid. We're gonna have to start paying squeegee. Squeegee. We we start getting it, accumulating it. The the what is it? The twelve days of Kendra Christmas. What they want on that list? But we. It, it's at least a hundred items on this list that they won't. We need it for Christmas. Come Christmas, we need that list. <laughs> this is bad. So here we go, man. This is bad. I see we got a couple super chats here. Uh, shout out to Gunmetal Guy. He come through. He said, single by choices for a group of boss professional bees. These women, we say, tech setup are whack. How are they not on vehicles regularly with gear, tripods, etc.? The delusion. Uh, so there you go. They say saying they in tech. I agree. And every time they come on camera, don't nothing ever look techish. Ever. They really don't <laughs> got to. As long as they got their boobies out, they that's good enough. Man, we gotta go <laughs> the extra mile, baby. So <laughs> yeah, they, they in they in mop closets. They don't care. That's all. <laughs> Shout out to Eric Jordan. He says that's a huge blimp. Access denied. Gonna lose some weight. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. So here we go. The Numero man, man and this woman, I think she she didn't say much about appearance and bread. It could be some cap. No. Beer, but yeah. will she find a guy halfway well, decent? Maybe the kids well, aging out. Don't know. So at minimum, she well, get the junior band. That was that's my take. What? What? Do your man? She, you gotta read between the lines. She said she looked for a guy to do a whole bunch of. These are her hand movements and everything. Okay, she said, look for a guy to do a whole a lot, a whole bunch of stuff. We could level. She trying to take over the world, Craig. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> See, sometimes I just listen for the bread, the appearance. <laughs> Look at K. A lot of stuff. I'd be, I'd be doing too. I just. It's just they all sound the I same call, to me, uh, so it's hard. I call, I call between the lines. Yeah, you told me that. They start talking about what they want to do. All right, you want Mr. Dang near six figures. She's trying to start businesses, business ventures, and all that. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Big band, people. Here we go. Yes. Over two for two, Bonquisha. You came up here with your best modern day woman hoodoo, but no, 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 it's all the way over. Talking about you looking for your forever guy, your love. You're trying to get married again. She's trying to get married again. <laughs> you ain't happening. She's trying to get married again, and her ex husband still taking care of the uh, all. It's just too much going on. Yeah, listen. I, I try to start, the more and more we're doing this show, I try to look at all sides of this coin. And for every woman like that, there's some blowed out brother who ain't up to par. Every man ain't up to par. So when I'm up here speaking, mm. I don't think every man is in the class with myself. So I can't be advocates for all these men. Mm. Some of these men going to have to date this woman. So unless they start to level themselves up, that, every that, man that ain't standing true. on the square. So to all y'all start leveling yourselves up, everybody can't. As men, y'all can't just desire whatever you want. You might end up with this woman if you ain't know your stuff. Says she won't last in a marriage. She's a runaway bride waiting to happen again. Yeah, unfortunate. It's unfortunate. 